Well, hello, and welcome to a Where the Heck Have You Been episode of The Horror Collector. I'm your host, and they really are coming to get you, Barbara. I'm Terry M. West, also known as the hardest working horror author you have never heard of. And yeah, I know it's been a while since I've been on here. I've just had life things getting in the way, you know. But uh, I'm going to try to get on here at least a little bit more than I've been getting on here. Uh, we are getting close to Halloween, so I get really revved up about horror and collectibles and everything around that time. So here I am, and I'll try to be on here if not sooner by Halloween. All right. So this episode, I'm going to talk about my birthday haul. My birthday is on September 29th, and on the 24th, I went to a convention called CreepyCon, or Creep IE Con for Inland Empire in Ontario, and uh, I'm going to show off a few things that, uh, that I got for that. But before I do, I want to take a little pause for the cause. I want to talk to you about my series Night Things. Night Things is a dark fantasy slash horror um, series that's uh, been around for almost uh, 10 years. Actually, uh, Halloween 2024 is going to be its 10-year anniversary. I've uh, recently revamped all the books. And I've given them their own website, night-things.com. So if you go there, you can find out all the info you need on the, that series. It's been called True Blood Meets the Sopranos. It's also got a dash of Cast a Deadly Spell and Alien Nation. It, it's uh, basically a, a world that all the famous monsters live in. And it's very, uh, you know, slick and edgy. And uh, give it a shot. See if you like it. Okay, now we're going to go right into what I got for my birthday this year. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you actually is a companion for Lucky here, a squirty cat. Um, I, I ran into Kurt Marquardt um, at the show, and he had a booth for his squirty cats. And actually, we shot a little interview, and that'll be coming soon. But he gave me this a while back, and um, I had always wanted to hunt down... I finally was able to purchase from him a nightmare. <laughs> so, I mean, I think you know who they look like. And I think you understand why I wanted to get them both, you know, together for the ultimate battle on my uh, plushie shelf. So, yeah, these, these things are really, really cool, highly detailed. They only have little messages on the bottom. So, squaredycats.com. Give Kurt a visit. I've been singing uh, his praises for a couple of years now. I love these things, and people are starting to really uh, get into them, too. So I wish him much luck with them. The second thing I received was this Freddy's Nightmares uh, soundtrack, which just, I don't know, it just really caught my eye. I think this came out in uh, 2021, and um, the record inside is uh, Blood Red. I'll, I'll never know for sure because I'm keeping it in the package. I don't play these soundtracks. I don't have a turntable. I just uh, collect them for the novelty and for the art. So this is going to go into an album frame. But this die cut um, with this claws there. and It's really, really cool. If you're a Nightmare on Elm Street fan or a Freddy fan, actually, I should say, this is definitely something you might want to get your claws into. Now, everyone knows that I'm a huge Night of the Living Dead fan, and actually today is October 1st, and that's the uh, when Night of the Living Dead premiered 55 years ago, you know? So, uh, yeah, so it's a, a big deal for me. I, I love that movie, and I try to get merchandise when I can. I usually try to stick with vintage stuff like the books, the albums. I've got a few things, you know, that you, you're familiar with if you've watched my podcast, but... One thing I never got my hands on until, you know, the show was this, um, it's from Fright Rags, and it's um, all the, they did a board game, I believe, and these are all the plastic figures that uh, that went with it, and there's one, uh, uh, <laughs> one of George right there, and on the back, there's a bunch of characters, the main characters, uh, there's also a couple of uh, zombies. Put in there as well. This is really cool. Um, I thought I'd missed my chance to get my hands on it, but I saw it at the show, and the uh, seller was willing to to 
you know, negotiate with me. And, and, you know, so I was able to bring it home, and I was very happy about that. Now, this last thing I'm going to show you, I mean, I just saw it and just wasn't even that clear that it ever existed, but I immediately was like, I really want that. And it is this. Battle for Tromaville, a <laughs> Toxic Avenger board game. And I have a few board games. I don't go too nuts with the board games, but I don't know. For some reason, I really, really wanted this one when I saw it. It's a, more of a Toxic Crusaders, uh, which was, you know, the kid-friendly version of uh, Toxic Avenger. All the parts are in here I checked, you know, and you got a cool little, uh, cool little, uh, spinner with the artwork on it right there yeah it was really cool i really uh really i don't know sometimes you just see something and it's never been on your radar but you just have to have it it was one of those things so the last thing i'm going to show you and it's probably my favorite thing actually was from my mother-in-law now she got me this i tried to get this in the stores and they were already sold out but she got me this hide and eek little uh you know music uh musical haunted house um, and it's, you know, like I said, it's very, very cool. I, I really enjoy it. I, I have a couple of these. I don't collect them, uh, you know, for the sake of collecting them. But if I see one and I like it, I pick it up. So I'm going to let it run for you here for a sec. If I can turn it on. There's the... Uh, got the little skeletons going around the house. So yeah, very, very beautiful. I mean, I, I really like it. If you get an opportunity and you collect these things, I definitely recommend uh, picking this one up. Like I said, it's very, very cool. And it's still going, so let me just uh, turn it off. <laughs> okay. And so that's it. Like I said, it's not a tremendously long episode today. Um, but we're going to be back. Hopefully before next weekend with the, that interview with Kurt uh, Marquardt of SquirtyCats.com. And um, I'll see you then. And like always, horror collectibles can be a scary business.